there. We are Claire and Nick Butcher, and we've been together for over 20 years. We used to live in Wiltshire in the UK, with Nick having a background in bathroom sales and myself in hospitality and catering. In 2020, we decided to leave the daily grind to start a new life in France. Eventually, we ended up buying this. It's not officially a chateau, even though the village locals call it one. However, it is just as large and equally as much hard work as a chateau. With a horde of original features and the building having been unoccupied for many years, we are slowly breathing life back into her, whilst frequently still finding the many treasures she holds. Join us on our journey with our dogs, Flora and Merlo, as we renovate our Maison de Maitre, one turret short of a chateau. So today's job is to get the grass fitted properly. I've cut it to the right area, but uh, I need to fix it down. Um, over this side, we laid it all in one piece, but over the far side of the pool, we laid it in sections going across. And the first thing I'm going to do is join those sections together. And I've got this tape um, that should allegedly just stick it all together. Um, once I've done that, I need to go around the perimeter of the grass and nail it down. And I've got these. Look at the size of them, 140 mil long. And I've got loads and loads. I've got a couple of boxes of them. And yeah, so basically go around the perimeter of the grass every foot, every 30 centimetres or so, stick one of them in. So uh, we'll see how this goes today. Too dramatic. Let's get on and nail it down then. Well, that was fun. Didn't look any different really, but um, it's not gonna go anywhere. Not that it was going anywhere, but it's not gonna go anywhere. All right, well, the south side down. Gotta go over there and do that bit now. have it done it on this side now so yeah quite pleased with that another job off the list So we have a small storm passing over us and it's just starting with rain and some mild lightning and it's that time of the evening where I need to really start thinking about dinner and I have one problem. I was going to do stuffed peppers for dinner. The peppers are in the greenhouse. Mm. Right, 
risking life and limb for your dinner. Good. Right, right too, yeah. <laughs> and look at them. Aren't they belters? They are huge. Well, beautiful Sunday morning. And what better to do on a Sunday than drive a few miles down the road to look at some tat. Yes, tat. AKA April Kant. And there she goes, off in search of some tat. a bit different. I don't know what it is. I know it's meant to be a skeleton, but I don't know of what. It seems to have no head. Maybe that's in the box. A helpful 2009-2010 map of France and Europe. Look, somewhere to store all your floppy disks. Brilliant. Not the best Brocant, was it? No, just I think you've got just a short a short visit to this one today. Yeah. Not not really worth it, yeah. unfortunately. But now we know where the noise of the fireworks we heard last night came from here. Right, should we go to the market in Sant? Yes. Uh and Focaccia see we play? And a much needed pit stop. I think that you can tell who's driving today. <laughs> So we finished uh, shopping at the market and just wandered down to the river where we're about to go for lunch on board a boat. What a nice thing to do on a river on a sunny day. <laughs> go on a boat. Ah oh, look there it is. Let me show you. There it is. My dessert appears to have a pipette. Could be cognac. Well, it was all right, but I think a bit pricey for what it was. I think you're paying a bit for the ambience, which is a, which is okay, but. Today outside the temperature is due to reach 39 to 40 degrees C. So I am starting inside this week and I am doing some house jobs. I am doing this because 
My mother-in-law is arriving in less than seven days. The first thing I will be doing this morning is cleaning this oven. Now, the reason why I'm telling you this and showing you this is because it's not just all about building and renovation. There is a life going on behind the scenes here. And mainly I run the inside of this house, or at least I try to until someone makes it dirty. This oven is fairly clean already. However, I am giving it the once over. There was an instance last year at Christmas where before my mother-in-law arrived, my husband opened our old oven door that you could hardly see through because it was from the 80s and the window was small. And he said, we better clean this before my mother comes. And it was as clean as I could possibly get it. Now, I don't know an instance where you go around to people's houses and open the oven and go, ooh, that's dirty, do you? It caused a bit of a stir for about three days. It's not a good thing to say to your wife. Don't say clean the oven in case my mother looks in it. So I'm preempting the argument and I'm giving it the once over. Well, I'm going to have a go at tidying up the yard a lot more today, um, a bit more trimming and a bit more concrete removal from where mixers were emptied and cleaned. I've got a patch down at this end of the yard and a patch up near the gate, which, uh, well, that one up there, I'm gonna get tidied up today because it's been like it for ages and I've not really been doing anything in the meantime. So it's a shame to have just left it for so long. But uh, anyway, a momentous event that is happening right now I'm putting that away, that concrete mixer. It's been out for months. Not daily use, but it's been used quite a lot. I think you'll agree. Time for it to go into storage. So this is the area down at the gates, which, uh, not a very nice welcome for the first thing you see when you arrive here, is it? So, time I had to tidy up. Today, as well as doing cleaning jobs, I am also in the front wall garden of the Maison de Maitre. It's a bit windy out here this morning. It's quite nice, cool breeze, ready for the heat of the day. And uh, one of my little tasks today is gonna be trying to sort some of this garden out and the little patch of garden in the jeet. Where we've been focusing on other things, it's become a little bit untouched, unloved and overgrown. And um, yeah, it's just time to give it a quick spruce up and get everything ready. To give you a more accurate view of this, I've got quite a lot of weeding to do. Um, I've also got a huge wisteria here, which is actually tumbling over the wall and going onto the outside wall that I kind of need to sort. Uh, some leaves to rake up, some weeding to do. And over here, you'll see that the wisteria has actually started bolting out into the gravel yard. Oh, I'm just gonna give this a really good spruce up. Just having a couple of minutes rest before cracking back on, but I'm getting somewhere. You know, the light hack back is going really, really well. And there goes bag one of garden waste from my side. Probably not the most sensible thing to be doing today, as it's well over 30. I'm meant to be going up to nearly 40 degrees today, so. Don't know how much longer I'll be able to do this. But I'm gonna crack on for now. Try and get it done, and then it's done. Oh, 
After a good couple of hours of just hacking things back, I'm up to about this stage now. I managed to get back a load of wisteria. Um, I managed to do a load of weeding, not that it looks like it. And I managed to hack all of that back. I've also managed to get rid of the trails of wisteria from over here. And I've pulled out two and a half huge rubble sacks of green waste. I'm gonna call it quits for now with this side of the garden. It's tidied up a fair amount, uh, a lot more than what it was, as you saw. So uh, yeah, I've got other things to be getting on with. This isn't one of them anymore. So little job done. Fair little job, two, three hours. A little while later, everything is super clean. Can I just check with you, are you happy with the condition of the oven? It's like it's new. Yeah, do you want to just check inside? Oh, don't trap your head in there. Is it clean enough? <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> So the other morning I started clearing this area, which is in the yard by the gates where historically we've done a lot of concreting and um, probably down to the way that father-in-law does it all, the ground seemed to gain about 20, 30 centimetres height of, of waste concrete when it slopped out of the mixer. Um, so I'm having a go at clearing that. Now the other morning I started but the temperatures just went stupid. It became so hot, all I could do was spend the afternoon in the pool. Um, so I'll come out here reasonably early. The temperature's still cool. And we get this finished. Today is another cleaning day and it is one of those fun times to do the jobs that you do six monthly. Today I am pulling out all of the sofas da, 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 da. and I'm going to be trying yet again to clean this carpet. If you've seen previous episodes you know that this carpet is the bane of my life. This carpet was here when we moved in and I'm sure that when it was originally laid, it was very nice. It's not my taste. Um, unfortunately, we cannot remove this carpet because it's not on the top of the priority list at the moment and because it is stuck directly to the floor, which apparently is a thing in a lot of French houses that there's no underlay, there's no gripper rods or anything like that, just floor, glue, carpet. So to try and clean this monstrosity, that's one of my wine stains. I am going to hit this floor with everything I own. Hoovers, mooses, disinfectants, the works. What are you doing? Two very naughty dogs today as well. He doesn't like hoovers, she doesn't like hoovers. And they didn't eat their dinner last night. Any worse, can it? <laughs> God. I can honestly say I do not recommend Fabulosa carpet cleaner. It's like an IB for foam party in here. When it goes wrong, it goes horrifically wrong. So bad. 
quick lunch break and today I just fancied some tomato soup and I have someone here who I'm sharing it with. What do you think? Do you like it? I'll try to cool it down for you. Oh, yummy. And what do you think? Come on then. Oh. You don't, you're not very good at spoons, are you? You're better with forks. Okay, well, it's not a finished decorated surface, but it's clear of the vast majority of the concrete from this side. Probably we're going to get some more of this gravel to spread around the area. That'll finish it off nicely. <clears throat> anyway, I'm not finished for today because I'll take you around this side. I've got more muck to clear up. Look at that. Goodness me. Okay, we've got to near the end of the day. That bit's all clear. I'm gonna get some gravel in the morning and uh, put that over there. The rest of it, around the other side of the bushes that I was doing for you earlier, that's all clear. And I carried on along here and uh, either side of the uh, ramp there to the entrance of the that's all been cleared and that too is ready for gravel. Um, yeah, make good progress. Start again tomorrow. I've been cleaning this carpet for hours now and I don't think I can get it any cleaner unless I set fire to it and it disintegrates. Onto this carpet today I have poured 500 millilitres of disinfectant, 500 millilitres of vanish, two cans of carpet shampoo foam, uh, water, carpet cleaner, the works. I've also gone round, I've dusted the room, I've polished all of the glass, um, polished the windows, leather cleaned the sofas, everything. Now, I know that our home smells of dog, um, I do everything I can to make it not smell of dog, but it is what it is. It's our home. Hey ho, what more can I do? Nah. Right, well, Bricko's just opens. Oh, to get a scoop full of gravel. Bonjour, monsieur. Okay, well I put a few barrel loads of the gravel um, along here and some along there. Straight away it looks really smart. Now we will be planting some a couple of plants here in due course but uh, we haven't yet decided exactly what we're going to put there. So for now, job done.
Ta -da. And uh, well, there we go. Um, good morning's work so far before it's getting stupidly hot again today. Anyway, the gravel is off. Um, did I tell you that scoop of gravel that's done all of there and down by the, the sheet? 20 euros. Not bad, is it? Anyway, that is another job done. This morning we are here to come and pick up our bench. It's ready a little bit earlier than what we originally thought. Good times. And that is why I decided to get a truck. You can move just about anything. Here she is in all of her glory, ready to be unwrapped. Are we ready for the unveiling? Well, what we've done, we've unloaded her and put her here for now because it's time to get back in the vehicle and get back out there because today is the start of the little wine fair and the little wine fair waits for no woman. The first port of call in the wine shop today has been Intermarche Fair of Wines. Um, you get these booklets, they come through the door or you can pick them up in the supermarket. You can look through them. You can compare wine prices with other supermarkets. We've had a small haul from here today of a few bottles just to top up the cellar because nobody likes a dry cellar, do they? Today is the last clean-up day before in-laws arrive tomorrow. It also is going to be my editing day. So today I will be editing this week's video. At the same time, I will be cleaning the sheet and I will be cleaning the cloakroom in the Maison de Maitre. Now, I'm delegating today, which is something that sometimes I'm not great at. I'm one of these people who really likes to just do it myself, but I am delegating the worst thing ever. I am delegating a comprehensive shopping list to my husband to go to the shops with on a Saturday. That's not good. Um, but I have added descriptions of how many items you get in a pack and where you can find these items in the supermarket. Whilst he's out and about as well, I'm going to go and do one little finishing off job that I kind of forgot about. Here I am, down in the cellar. It's lovely and cool. And this is our haul from the two wine fairs, the one at Intermarche and the one at Lidl. We ended up with 57 bottles. They're not just for topping up the cellar, they're also in preparation for my father-in-law coming. My father-in-law is awesome. He likes wine. I like wine. Can't say more than that really, can you? So I made sure that we had some good wine in. No cardboard dough for my father-in-law, only the best. Time to get these out on the shelves, go back to editing, and then I'm gonna show you something else that's happened. I'm pleased to report he finally came home from the supermarket. He got the correct things. <laughs> well done. I'm pleased to report I'm finally home from the supermarket. I know, you were forever. Anyway, we need to show everyone one little thing that you, or we've done this week, you, we. So, I needed a model to show you. There we go. We have a beautiful stone bench with a lovely model. 
Oh. <laughs> and that's another job done. The sheet is now stocked with bits and pieces for mother and father-in-law's breakfasts. However, I am leaving it till the very last minute to try and clean this sheet. And there's a very good reason. Up here would normally be the heating and aircon unit for the sheet. Now, something's gone wrong somewhere along the line. I don't blame him whatsoever. Nick has actually called someone to come out and help him with it. Um, there's some kind of issue with it. I know that it's degassed and the guy is actually getting gas for it. Who's going to come and fix it? But there's something wrong with the bottle that he's ordered and the thread on it. Now, knowing my luck, he's going to come next week and this hole needs to be made bigger. And if you've dealt with anything like this before, you know that there is going to be dust everywhere. And I don't want that. Not at the moment. So, keep your fingers crossed for me. I want it fixed and I want it done, but at the same time, I've just got this horrible idea that my in-laws are going to be in here and that everything is just going to be covered in dust. Hi, Hi and welcome to Wine, wine of, of the Week. week. More wine. I didn't choose this. You chose I was this. Just <laughs> passing the shelves in the supermarket and it caught my eye. What's the name of this wine? Uh, <laughs> uh, red. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's a Seigneurie d'Ars. Ars. I hope it doesn't taste like it. <laughs> I don't want to know where your mouth's been. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. <laughs> it's been a hard week. <laughs> Sorry, I had to turn the camera off and just compose myself for a minute after that last comment. And continue. And as we speak now it's 35 degrees so it's a little bit warm a little bit warm mm. to be drinking red wine but we're doing it for your benefit we are we are <laughs> <laughs> oh this is getting worse <laughs> well we've nearly got everything sorted out for the imminent arrival of my parents who are coming for just short of a fortnight holiday um i hope the weather holds we are due some rain no sign of it today though which is nice because we do still have time to be able to go in the pool hey that's a good yeah. idea nothing like a nice glass of red wine and a <laughs> dunk in the pool is there <laughs> oh. well <clears throat> if you've enjoyed this week's episode please click the like button if you haven't then sorry if you're not a subscriber, just click subscribe and you'll become one. And if you've also enjoyed this episode, you can hit the like button. I said that. Yes, you did. <laughs> I've not even had a drink yet. It's the heat. <laughs> you can, however, find us on Facebook, Instagram or Twitter. Or on our website. <laughs> at <laughs> www.theexpatbutchers.com it's all going ass. <laughs> arse over tit <laughs> well darling cheers well, and as I say bon voyage why why where are we going well to anyone that is going anywhere we're not they're coming to us oh okay I get it now you what <laughs> I didn't get what you were saying, Bon Voyage. I say it. <laughs> well, thanks well, for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs> and we will see you next time. Hope. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Cheers. Wow. That is a really nice wine. I confirm it does not taste like ass. The reason why I didn't mention Angelina Jolie in last week's Wine of the Week, she's out the picture. Don't need to worry about her now.